Well, part of the reason all of this work was undertaken follows the constitutional amendments of 82. So what is Section 35? What is the inherent right to self-government? Indigenous issues need to come to the forefront, and they're not social issues. They're not program-related issues. They are uh, economic issues. Uh, someone said to me as I was walking down here today, when I told them I was going to meet the deputy ministers, if he had any words to offer, and he said, tell them that reconciliation is different than decolonization. And I think part of what we do as organizations is look at decolonization. Reconciliation will happen on many different fronts with many different people, but you need to change absolutely the status quo and that systemic change means you start implementing self-government, you start empowering First Nations to make decisions, so you're sharing decision-making, and you're starting to share the wealth that's generated from our traditional territories to give those First Nation communities the financial resources they need to govern.